Okay, let's talk about polynomial multiplication. This is an absolutely critical skill for you to be successful in algebra. And you can see here, I want to multiply uh, this polynomial times this polynomial. Now, polynomials, uh, I'm just kind of saying a general description of what a polynomial is, but we have different names for different type of different types of polynomials. So if I have a polynomial like this, 2x, we would call this, it starts with an m. Let's see if you can go ahead and answer that question. Put that in the comment section, by the way, if you know um, the answer. So a type of polynomial with a single term is called a what? Okay, hopefully you said monomial. But now if you have a polynomial with two terms, something like y plus 3 or 4y plus 5, this is called a what? Well, it starts with a b, and this is a binomial, right? So we have a binomial, and then if you have something like 4x squared plus x minus 7, this would be an example of a trinomial. And then anything beyond that, we would just describe as a polynomial, but all of these are, in fact, polynomials. So 2x two, two by itself is a polynomial, and these, um, uh, y plus 3, 4y plus 5, that, that's a polynomial. This is a polynomial, what I just erased. Uh, but when you don't, when you have a single term, uh, polynomial, that's a monomial. These are binomials, and you can have trinomials. But uh, again, all of this falls under the category of a polynomial multiplication. Now you can see here, I'm starting off this problem. I'm showing you actually the path to get the product or to multiply the uh, these polynomials, okay? These specific, these this binomial times this polynomial, I'm showing you some steps to get the answer. So this is a little bit of a clue of what we're going to be talking about uh, in this particular problem. Now, if you think you can do this, go ahead and pause the video and uh, do the, uh, the work. It'll take you all of about 15 seconds and then put your answer into the comment section and we'll see how well you uh, know polynomial multiplication in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I'm going to leave a link to my math help program in the description of this video. But if you are having a tough time in mathematics or if you really want to get ahead, um, or, you know, if you just feel like you're not getting enough math instruction, you know, you, maybe you like your teacher, but you just don't have enough instruction from that teacher, or maybe you're not connecting with your teacher's teaching style, whatever the case might be, I've been teaching math for decades very successfully, and I can help you, okay? My style of teaching is I break the components of mathematics down into very simple bite-sized pieces so anyone and everyone uh, can learn this stuff. Now, you have to have the desire to put the work in, but if you have the desire, uh, I think I have the right math instruction to help you be successful in math. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or even college level, you definitely want to check out my math help program. Now, if you're preparing for any test that has a math section on it, I'm talking about things like the GED, SAT, ACT, GRE, GMAT, uh, ASVAB, Accuplace, or CLIP exam, uh, maybe a teacher certification exam. You get the idea. I could help you prepare and pass those exams. I have a huge catalog of test prep courses, so make sure you check out. Believe me if I tell you, if you're taking a test that has a math section on it, I likely have that course. If you homeschool, I have a fantastic homeschool math program, very comprehensive curriculum. And if you need some math notes, I'm going to leave links to my um, math notes in the description of this video. But if you want to be great at uh, math, you have to learn how to take great math notes. Okay, so let's get into this. What can I possibly be talking about? Well, I'm going to show you right now. And I am talking about the FOIL method, okay? So if you never heard of this before, probably most of you have uh, uh, heard of the FOIL method, especially if you learn, uh, I've already covered basic algebra. But the FOIL method is a particular, it's a method, I'm gonna to explain to you it, what it is exactly in a second. But it has to do with multiplying a binomial times a binomial. So the FOIL method is a special case uh, polynomial multiplication procedure, okay? But it has to do with binomials times binomials only, okay? So now beyond that, we're not going to be using the FOIL method. All of this, if you watch my uh, some of my additional videos in my algebra or pre-algebra playlist in my YouTube channel, or just maybe sign up for my algebra course, you'll see that this all kind of falls into a kind of a bigger, broader category. But I'm talking about the FOIL method here because a lot of you are being taught the FOIL method, and it's definitely uh, 
uh, worthwhile to learn this. So we're going to uh, talk about the FOIA method to do this particular problem. Now you can see over here to the right, I'm showing you what uh, kind of how uh, the FOIA method, these arrows, what they mean. So let's go through this and talk about this now. Okay. So what does the F mean in the FOIA method? It means the following. Okay. You can see this arrow and I have this F. It means the first. All right. So this is the first, but first what? Well, let me go down and show you here. It means that you're going to multiply the first terms, okay, in each of the binomials. So you can see the y, this y here and that 4y are the first terms of each of these respective binomials. Okay, so this is basically how it is. Okay, first, so here I have this next arrow, okay, that represents this O. What can this possibly represent? Well, this is the outer, okay? So we have the first, and then these are the outer terms, okay? You can think of it this way. This is, uh, these two here are the very outside ones, okay? So this is the outside right there. And then our next is what? It's the I. If this is the outers, what do you think this is? Well, you guessed it. This is the inners, okay? So these right here, let me erase this so we can just highlight each one of these right here. So these two here are the inners, Okay, and then we're uh, left with this L, and if we had the first, well, we probably have the last, and uh, that's what the, the L stands for. So these here, three and five, in this case, those are the last terms of each of these respective uh, polynomials. Okay, so that is the FOIL method, first, outer, inner, last. So I want to see if you can actually do this and finish this up. So what you're going to do is you're going to multiply the first. Right? So you're going to multiply y times 4y. You're going to get that answer. And then you're going to do the outers. Well, that would be y times 5. Then you're going to do the inner, 3 times 4y. Then you're going to do the last, 3 times 5. And then you're going to get all your answers. And then you're going to combine like terms, OK? So let's see how well you can do basic polynomial multiplication. And let's see if you can actually finish this problem up using the FOIL method. So if you're not ready to see the answer, pause the video because I'm going to go uh, through the rest of the solution right now. Okay, so let's get to it. So here is our setup with the FOIL method. So let's uh, see how this works. So we're going to uh, just kind of follow the order, first, outer, inner, last. So the first is going to be uh, y times this 4y. So y times 4y is 4y squared. Okay, y times y is y squared. So this is actually a 1y times a 4y. So again, you're going to have to know how to multiply basic monomials. And hopefully you've already learned that. But that is the result of our first. Okay, so if we got that right, that's excellent. Now, what about the outer? Well, that would be y times what? That would be y times 5. Or, or of course, that would be 5 times y or 5y. That's the result of our outer. Now our inner is going to be three times four. I'm sorry, three times four y. So that's going to be twelve y. Okay, and then our last is going to be three times five, which of course is fifteen. Okay, so this is our our foil first, outer, inner, last. But now we have to combine like terms, and five y and twelve y. These are like terms. 4y squared, there is no other y squared. There are no other numbers, but these two here are like terms. So you have to understand like terms uh, and the um, and how to combine like terms to be uh, to know how to well, successfully uh, uh, use the FOIL method and do polynomial multiplication. So anything you're not quite understanding, you need to go back and review. Again, uh, a couple suggestions. I have tons of videos on my YouTube channel. Two, you know, you might want to consider one of my algebra courses. But when we combine like terms. Uh, I can combine the 5y and a 12y. That's going to be 17y. So I have 4y squared. We'll write that first. Now, the reason why I'm writing the 4y squared first is because we always want to write things what we call in standard form, highest to lowest power. Okay, so it, it's more correct. Um, you know, it's pretty bad uh, grammar or English. But uh, it just... Uh, when you just get used to writing the highest to lowest power, that's standard form. So we're going to write our 4y squared, and then we're combining a like term, 17y, then we have our number. So this is the final answer, 4y squared plus 17y plus 15. Okay, so how many uh, got that right? If you got that right, then I must go ahead and give you a lovely 1981 1981 uh, Mohawk, an A-plus 
and 100%. So if you've watched my other videos, I know a lot. I like to try to have fun with math. Take it, you know, I gotta think about things that make me laugh, feel good, especially when I was younger. So you probably under, uh, have a, uh, you know, a sense that I grew up in the 80s. Well, I was going to high school back in these days. And, you know, um, yeah, it was fun being young because you were experimenting around with all these crazy haircuts. I'm glad I don't see these haircuts anymore. Maybe I don't get out enough. But um, anyways, you know, when you're young, you should be having fun and you don't want to have like a negative relationship with math. Okay, that's definitely the worst thing that can happen. I know, uh, you know, for me, and I, was, I wasn't excited about math. I'm excited about it now. But if you're trying to learn math, okay, if you're trying to improve, you have to change your emotional relationship with math. Okay, if you hate math, okay, you're not, you're going to have a mental block, right? So that's why for me as a teacher, I'm trying to say, hey, let's line things up and let's try to, you know, uh, enjoy the process, especially if you have to learn it. Well, then let's put some fun into it. And hopefully this little video was a little tiny bit of fun. I know you'd rather be doing something else. But listen, if you, you learn something, well, then I think hopefully that earned this video uh, a gigantic like. So if that is the case, uh, smash that like button. And if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider subscribing. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years. I have over a thousand plus math videos, basic math to advanced math black calculus. So, you know, I make all this content for you, right? So you can be successful in mathematics, but my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.